Okay, so I'm going to do a quick demonstration <clears throat> of how to make a hole in some geometry <clears throat> and then fill the hole in again in PowerView. And this version of PowerView is <coughs> version 4.3. So if you want to make a hole or delete some geometry, in PowerView, there's various ways to do it, um, which can be clipping using the clip function. Um, you can clip using plane, or you can clip using a box of a sphere or a scalar. And by that method, you can delete geometry. But if you quickly want to delete some geometry, in version 4.3, you go to this select cells feature there, and then you can just select a bit of geometry and it should highlight the cells. Um, it's taking a while because I've got something running in the background. There's my highlighted cells, and then um, the, the neat bit is that you go to edit find data and um, this is not available in version 3 but in version 4 you can do it in first selection <coughs> and because it's quite a large model it'll take a while um, so that's inverted the selection then you can extract the selection Close that, and then I've got the geometry of the hole in it. Um, so then, um, if you wanted to fill in a hole in your geometry, uh, something like that, uh, what you need to do is to select the um, select the edges around the hole, which can be the fiddly bit. I'm going to use a clip. I'm going to use the clip plane first of all to get rid of any other geometry in the background. So I'm just looking at the hole itself. Then I'm going to use the same feature. I'm just going to select some cells. So select those all those cells around the hole, um, and then need to extract the selection and we've just got some triangles then you can use Delaunay to fill it in so it's a bit of a crude method but it can be quite useful if you want to fill in a hole quickly I'm just going to use Delaunay 3D and that has not worked for some reason Filters on a 2D that has then filled the whole um, the mesh. Doesn't look great, but it's on the job. And so then um, you can sit quite simply merge that with the original geometry. So that's a geometry with the hole, and then that's the geometry with it filled. So in this case, um, we would control and select both of them. I mean, you could save the whole the whole geometry as a separate SDL file and then re-import it, or you can just select them on the left here and. Um, combine them. But in order for that to be combined, that needs that needs to be um, separate surface. 
So yeah, you can append geometry like that. That's very quickly how you can delete some mesh and then fill it in again.